we'd like to invite Chef Robert back over. This is the point where over we normally here. go into the kitchen, but yeah. we need you over here, Chef Robert. Yeah. We all know you from, you know, doing. from his first appearance, we knew, uh, right here on the Hampton Road Show, we knew that Chef Robert was a nice guy and a great cook and that he had plenty of fascinating stories about his family in Italy. But until recently, <laughs> Have a seat. Thank we you. did not know that your own story is pretty fascinating and one that we wanted our audience to know, and we thought the week of Veterans Day was the right time to tell you more about you. Wow. <laughs> Robert Saliza served 28 years in the United States Marine Corps, including combat operations in Vietnam. He has been awarded the Bronze and Silver Star for Valor, two of the nation's highest military awards. And because he saved the lives of his men while he was already seriously wounded himself, Chef Robert has also received two Purple Hearts. The first time he was wounded in combat in 1969 while protecting his men, he spent months in the Naval Hospital in Yokosuka, Japan, and met a nurse named Chaco. Once he recovered, he returned to combat, and after once again protecting his unit without regard for his own safety and rescuing three crew members from a downed helicopter as it burned on the ground, an enemy mortar sent him back to the same hospital and the same nurse. The third time Robert and Chaco met, it was at the altar. Over the next 40 plus years, the couple welcomed three children, and at their various duty stations, the family shared a passion for helping the homeless and hungry. Even in the Marine Corps, Chef Robert would cook sometimes dozens of meals every morning to hand out near the gates of his base before he entered to begin his own long work day. He has received awards for volunteerism from the President of the United States and the Emperor of Japan. He retired after rising to the rank of First Sergeant with the belief that he is here to help people, the values of the Corps and grace of his family are with him today and we are honored to have him with us. We had no idea. No. So we also want to uh, invite that, that nurse who was nice mm. enough to put you together back together oh. twice <laughs> oh. to come join us. Your wife, Chaco, is here with us today. And, you. you know, there's not much that we can give you that the nation hasn't already. I can't yeah. tell you how nerve-wracking it's been to drive around with your purple heart <laughs> and silver star <laughs> in my I car. I kind of nerve-wracking. Chaco, these are for you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank but you're, all your coworkers at the Sheridan sent us a letter and said that we needed to do more homework <laughs> about you, and we did. And yeah. we want to thank all of the folks at the Sheridan, and especially mm -hmm. Josh Ha, who coordinated with uh, Chaco. <laughs> I don't know, did you miss these? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <I'm looking laughs> <for> them. <laughs> he was wondering where they were. Yeah, everything yeah. just disappeared. I couldn't believe it, you know. Yeah, yeah. but we're, we're certainly proud to know you, and yeah. thank you so much for your service. Thank you you are an amazing individual, so thank you thank again. You. We're very lucky to have you in our kitchen every week, and also to know all that you've done for our country. Thank you. Well, you know, the heroes are the, the wives, the spouses. Right. Because they have to put up with us being deployed and, hand, you know, taking care of the house and doing everything. Uh, I can't imagine what she went through when I deployed to Iraq. Because after she saw me coming back from Vietnam twice mm -hmm. and seeing her in the hospital, she probably didn't know what the third round would be. So mm -hmm. right. these are the heroes, you know, the, uh, the dependents, the wives, the uh, significant others. They're mm -hmm. the ones that uh, keep the house going and keep everything going while we're deployed. So it's nice. It's not a surprise. And I thank her for that. Not a surprise that you're taking the credit right away from yourself <laughs> and on someone else. But I know the families out there, the military families who are watching, appreciate all, the, all of yeah. your words and what you do. Yeah, we're, we're partners in peace, you know, and I, uh, all branches of the service to include the Coast Guard because once we go to war, they switch over from the Department of Transportation to the Department of Defense. Mm -hmm. Right. So they're our secret weapon, and they do one heck of a job. So it's... Uh, it's a, you know, it's a whole unit going together, and it's really something to be proud of. Uh, I really feel deep inside that I'm a warrior, and uh, I really miss it. I miss the camaraderie, and, and so I bury myself in my job, and I, I do a pretty good job. You know, I yeah, am. a very good job. <laughs> yeah. We're going to find out. We are going to uh, taste your cooking today <laughs> when we come back from the break, but we just wanted to Thank honor you. you and